Hello all, and welcome back to Kreos Gaming. I am continuing my story playthrough of Creeper World. So, last time we were on Crux, didn't learn anything new there, it was just a pretty straightforward mission where we were able to jump to the next world. Now we are on to Octon. Uh, when we were on Cetus, we found a artifact that gave us the next the jump points for the next one, two, three, four, five worlds. So Octon is going to be the last of those five. So we will see if there is a new jump point or new uh, set of jump points on Octon. Wow, this is quite the bit of text. Commander, Ops, sound the city alarm. We have trouble coming. One of the scientists we rescued a couple worlds back had some critical information for us. He and his crew spent some time in orbit around this world, and they observed something unexpected. Apparently, the creeper here has started producing aerial spores. These spores are launched from great distances and target human-made structures. When they land, they release patches of creeper that immediately destroys anything in the vicinity. We have no defense against this. Ops. Commander. I might have something we can adapt as a defense. There is a nearby nanoschematic for some missile technology that the Octans were working on. Octan is constantly bombarded by meteor debris, so they must have developed some advanced missile tracking technology to deal with it. Pick up the nanoschematic, and we can use those missiles to defend against these spores. Our sensors can detect incoming spore attacks at great distances, so I've augmented your command console to show a countdown timer. Keep an eye on this timer as it indicates when the next spore attack is due. Also, Commander, you might want to build redundancy into your network. If spores make it through, you don't want to have the whole section of the network lose power. One more thing, Commander. Our scientists have identified a potential weakness in the creeper. Apparently, if you get a blaster in range of a creeper emitter and eliminate any surrounding creeper, a single blaster will be able to cap off the emitter. This tactic could be useful. Okay. Okay. So we have four minutes before a spore attack. Um, we have one, two, okay, so there's four at the top, two there, emitters. Now, the trouble is, I don't, it's going to be a while before I split. And Hold on, that one was too low. And so usually I build pairs of collectors to maximize the... Uh, I mean, it does eventually go too slow for it to work, but um, since now I don't have pairs of emitters, this is 35, a collector is 10. Um, so even building a speed now would probably put me at issue. Um, now when I get here, I also want to start building into the center here because... Let's see, so if I get, now there's multiple, there's two here, one, one, and two, but I can probably, I could build a mortar that could hit all three of them here, and then I could build a mortar that could hit those three there. So that's probably going to be my approach. Um, now, of course, the, uh, what you call them? Spores are going to be an issue, but I have four minutes before I care, and so long as it targets... Um, see, I wonder... You know what? Let's build... I was going to say, I wonder if I can get a speed in, and I really think maybe I can, because if I can get a speed in early, that'll be helpful. I'm pushing my luck, but... We'll see if pushing my luck ends up actually being beneficial long term. Yeah, I just. So now I'm at a two deficit. And it's growing rather quickly. Well, we'll see how this goes. But the speed long term might be just what I need. Because once I get here, it'll continue that faster, I'm hoping. Okay, so now. do have a surplus, so I'm going to build another one there. Once this goes, it'll be two again. And I can't build the defenses until after I've gotten this completed, so or until I get there. So, two minutes. Okay. 
So as long as I still have... Nope. Now I'm depleting at a higher rate than I'm collecting. Well, I had been. So let's build another one there. Trying to just be as efficient as I can. Okay. Alright, so now I've got extra. So I'm going to put another speed in to help me out. And up here I'll put a mortar here. Unless I want to worry about... Because I'm almost there. Yeah, so I'll drop a mortar here. I've got a minute and a half until I get to... And I have some surplus, so... Actually, here's where storage might be useful. Oh, excellent news, Commander. The missile tech can be utilized to create surface-to-air missile system. This SAM unit should be able to shoot down incoming creeper spores. Build several of these units and spread them around your base. You may also need to move them around as you expand your base. Also, Commander, the schematics list five, listed five worlds where the Octans planned to ship the technology. Commander, program the coordinates for the first of those worlds into the totems. That's where we will head next. Okay, so now I'm going to pause it uh, first. Because, oh, no, hold on. I need that to... There we go, now it's disappeared. Put that there. Okay, now Sam... Alright, so I'm going to build that. Uh, I don't want to build too many of them. I've got a minute 45. Let's start with defending the city as our primary. Okay, let all this stuff build because I'm going to... Yeah, I've got three things building up there. So I'm quite a bit over. Alright, I'm going to cancel that. That ends up being a bit of a waste, but I need... I need energy. I need mortars to keep this stuff safe, especially since that's starting to overflow. But I also need Sam's, so... Once they're done... Oops, Sam Tech now available. So I can build a bit of overlap into them. Alright, that one's done in arming. That one's already armed. Now, once they attack, they always attack from the same direction. So if you figure out which direction they're coming from, you can kind of just cover that side of the map. Uh, but knowing that is an issue, and I've got a minute to find that out. Um, so, come on. Alright, so that one's done. But until then, I need to get as much overlap in as I can. Unfortunately, I also need a mortar there. How is this doing? That's close, so I need to hope that mortar does its job. I'm not in much of a deficit, so that's a good place to be. I'm gonna start building up here since I'm not in a deficit. Alright, uh, I need a new Sam there. Oh, Alright, I've got 30 seconds before this happens. I'm leaving this kind of out in the open. Um, when that Sam finishes, I don't know if I'll have time to build this one. Guess I'll have to try, because I need to cover that section. 24 seconds. Come on. Oof da. And I'm borderline. Well, I've been building a deficit, but it's not the end of the world. This is concerning, as is that. Really need that mortar to finish. And then I need those things to not shoot up there, frankly. Come on. Come on. Oh, the mortar's so close. We'll see how this goes. Eh, just for fun. Build another collector out there. Okay, the mortar's built. Now it just needs to start shooting so that this doesn't come any closer. Oh! Oh! Where's it hitting? Okay, it bypassed them. Shoot it! Okay, so I know they're coming from that corner. I need to... Come on. Oh, whew, okay. So this one, actually, if I move it up there... It should cover that. Uh, drop another collector there. Alright, so now I have a surplus again. Build a collector there. 
that starts draining a little bit more. Come on. There. Okay. Now, I have to be able to get in there, and I have to be able to get in there. These two are just kind of annoying and in the way. About the best they'd provide is additional... Uh, what do you call it? Um, places for energy, but for right now I'm not terribly concerned about that because I can get out here too and I am at a surplus. So I'm going to build another mortar there and then I'm going to increase my... wait, 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 hold on. Before I increase my speed, let me actually pause it. So I know that it's coming from up there. If I come here and then here that should, of course I'm assuming that it does always come from the same place. As long as it does, that should cover anything I need as far as that goes. Okay, now when that mortar finishes, that'll help clean that out. I can't move him because he needs to help with both of these to keep them in line. Uh, this mortar I want up here, so it's shooting at the deeper part there. because I need this to clean up. This mortar, I just said, has to stay, so I need to keep track of that. There we go. That should start pulling this back again. Because I'm pretty sure they launched from up this way. All right. And I'm eventually going to need blasters, so I'm going to put two blasters in just because I will need them to get into those zones. But until I actually do need them to attack, I don't want them taking up energy shooting at anything. So I'm going to put them in this area so that they build, but then don't do anything. And I'm hoping that I'm not going to have to um, hmm. okay so <laughs> minute until another spore attack so I'll find out whether or not I was right about where they're going to land blasters are in place build two more here in just a second Maybe. I'm surprised this hasn't gone down yet. I was expecting it to. So let's help with that. Let's move that up. And then that'll bomb this area too. Okay. And let's take the risk. And you know what? That one's covered, so I don't think I need to take that risk. I'm going to leave that where it is. I do need to figure out how to get my cannons up there. And part of me wants to put another mortar there so that this isn't spreading as bad. All right, get this collector here. All right, 29 seconds. Going to move him up there. And we'll see what happens. Okay, so now I'm back to having a surplus, so two more cannons to help with that surplus. Seventeen seconds. Am I going to make it in time? Even if it is coming from this corner, it may still hit that if he doesn't get there in time. Alright, and then when that lands, if this is... if I have a solid guard, I'll... So, seven seconds, we'll see what happens with this spore attack, and then I will see whether I can increase the speed to get this done a little faster as far as real time is concerned. Because it's hitting up there, okay? Yep, there's one. Where'd the other one go? There's the other. Okay, good. So, yep, they are coming from there. Move that there. Okay. Grab another mortar. 
to hit there. And then... Okay, so you can't... You can't control click, you can't shift. Okay. So, let's just move these. Well, pause it. Hold on. Okay. So I've got some extra energy. I'm going to grab these. Move them up. I'm hoping that I can clear it enough to... Um, you know what? Let's drop him there. I'm hoping that I can clear it enough to get this done without too much of a risk. Because if I can clear this side with one of them, grab another blaster just in case, if I can get it cleared enough that one can hold back the creeper given what's going on up here, then I can do the same thing coming from this direction. And given that I am at a surplus, it shouldn't really cost me anything. Okay, so they've landed. They're starting to dig into the creeper. And it looks like... Alright, so all I have to do is hold that. So the question is, how much does it take to hold that? Let's pull you out and move you up there and see if the three of them can hold it. it seems pretty close, but with the, once this cannon or this mortar starts, and it should actually no longer be close and should be purely functional. Alright. But this side might be more interesting because. There's a greater spread over here. Yeah, and I'm losing energy, so I don't want him disarmed at the moment, attacking. Because I want to be preserving as much as possible for what's going on in there. Um, so I'm going to disarm him too. But, alright, so they are not able to hold that then. And that's what I needed to know. Hmm. And that's because there's not enough energy coming in. Alright, so move this back up. Disarm this. Disarm this. Disarm this. So I'm going to have to invade this space, unfortunately, so that I can use it for energy. Because I don't have enough energy at the moment to really fight these off. Alright, but I do need more energy, so let's arrange these to be able to dig in just to this lower section. Actually, I want you over there, and as soon as I can activate them, no, I don't want you over there, you can go right there. So let's, okay, let's arm you, arm you, drop you in, arm you, drop you in. Okay, collector there. Okay, with those two, this guy isn't actually doing as much, so I'm going to put him there. So that he can hit more down here and more over here. Dang it. And then I have these two. Might as well get them over here to assist. They need to survive long enough for me to actually get that relay in. And I'm at a pretty significant deficit at the moment. Let's tr start getting in this again. 
because these guys will show up to benefit that. Oh, so this is going to be longer than I was hoping it would. I, I maybe should have started cleaning this out sooner, especially once I got this sealed up, but I thought I'd be able to do it without having to worry about that, and as it turns out, I can't, but five of them, <laughs> five of them don't look like they're going to have too much trouble. The biggest issue is the amount of energy I'm using just attacking. Um, but shortly, I'll be able to have these in place, and so that'll increase the energy I'm making. You're attacking the wrong spot, so go ahead and move down. Okay. And I can do some leapfrogging. And then it's going to be a matter of just keeping in the... Clear, because once it's down, this stuff will all disappear. It's just a matter of getting it completely separated from the rest of it. And then I can start moving in collectors to assist in energy production. Okay. So, move this guy here. This guy here. Because I'm expecting that it's just going to fade is... Oh my! Uh-oh. That's a problem. Oh. They don't always come from the same spot. Uh... Shoot. Mmm. So apparently they do always come from the same side, but not from the same spot. So I need to move up there. And I need these guys to ensure that that stays. Uh -oh. There we go. Okay, so I've got those over there. We've got more energy coming in. That was... that was an issue. Okay. So, let's see here. For him, disarm. 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 Sam. There, because they come from the same side. Disarm. Let's see here. Okay, so he's no longer doing anything there, so I'm going to move him up there to help clean this up. And then they're going to be ready to do the same thing that they did to increase energy production down here too. Although, maybe it's worth dropping in here? I'm not sure. We'll see. Yeah, that, that that attack put me a bit back further than I needed to be, but eh, it's okay. It's just a slightly longer level than it could have been otherwise, and now I'm slightly behind because of needing to redo this. Okay, how is this? Well, I suppose I drop down here instead. What I can do is fight my way through and be building as I go, rather than trying to get it all at once. Trying to get it all at once is probably not going to be effective. So when this guy lands, I can arm him. This guy can be armed. Except I want him there and armed. And there. Oops. Cancel. And armed. And him I don't want armed yet. Him I can drop into the center. And armed. Because, yeah. Now there's not anything in there that's a threat. Drop him there. Build the collector there. Jump this guy forward, that guy up, 
and they're just going to leapfrog their way through. Alright, double speed. Increase speed here, because I have a surplus now. Jump that up there. Build a collector there. There. Jump him up. Jump him up. Just kind of leapfrogging my way through. Jump him up. Okay. Jump him up there. Collector. Jump him up there. Collector. Collector. Jump him up there. When he lands, I can jump the next one. this one shooting up north at all? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Okay, so he's not doing much, so I'm going to jump him up. Add a collector. There. Alright, so that shouldn't be an issue at all. Right. Here comes another one. Cool. Alright, jump him up there. So that means this is getting close to done. Okay. Put that there, grab this collector. There. That there, and there. Now, that is fully cleared. I think means I don't need to care about that anymore. So I'm going to bring him over there to help with that section. Not that I know that we need all this energy now, but I certainly don't mind having it. It won't be long before this all dissipates anyway, so long as it doesn't get reinforced. There we go. Now it's starting to clear out on its own some. Let's see here. Collector there. collectors down this way. Good. Now it's draining completely. I'm going to pause that again just because that'll stop the timer. Oops. Cancel. 
destroy. Okay, so now, oops, don't want to move the city. I should have everything I need to, I only want to move one, assault that next section. I am, however, going to bring in one more. Excuse me. All right. They've got lots of mortars, just kind of pounding on them to keep them clean. So as things land, and I'm hoping I can do it by only keeping two in place, but we'll see. I drop two blasters there. So they're going to be able to handle that okay. Move that up. Yeah, leave that where it is. Okay. So that took a little longer than maybe it should have because I, well, I made a couple of mistakes, including letting the uh, spores actually do damage because I thought they were coming from here, this corner, not from this whole span. Uh, so learned that one. Uh, however, we do have five new worlds to jump to now because we know where they were going to be selling the or selling or shipping one way or the other, uh, the surface-to-air missile tech. So with that, uh, we'll see what happens in the next set. Oh, so that was, yeah, close to 15 minutes. Not counting. Um, pausing and stuff, so 15 minutes of game time. All right, continue. Well, 17 rounding down. So, cool. Uh, that was Octon. Next time, on to Tucana. Thanks, all. Hello, all, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button below. You can also subscribe using the channel image in the center of the video. If you are interested in more content in this video series, to the left is a link to the full playlist. Alternatively, when it is available, to the right will be a link to the next video in the series. Thanks all.